How do you wind your cables used in audio and video production or filmmaking or just those cables that you have around the house? Well, there's the old wrap it around your elbow technique, the loop the cable around your hand technique, and the ever popular for the filmmakers is to wrap the lavalier around the body pack technique. And of course, everyone's favorite, crafting an impossibly tangled rat's nest of wires spaghetti style and simply tossing it in the back of your shop or in your garage. All of these techniques will shorten the life of your microphone cables and make other AV techs want to tightly wrap you in about 100 feet of coax cable. Hang on to the end of this video because I'm going to show you step by step why the over under cable coiling technique is the best way to extend the life of your cables, ropes, and more, and keep the next person to use them from having an aneurysm. Hi, I'm Jim Costa. I'm a videography, photography, and technology guru, but you can call me a dadographer. I've created many other videos on improving your photography, videography, filmmaking, video editing, audio recording, and technology skills. And I'll link to those in the description below, and both during and at the end of this video, so stay tuned. If you want to learn more, remember to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to be notified when I upload new videos. I upload every week, and I'll be uploading many more explanations of film, video, photo editing, and technology topics. Stay tuned to the end to find out how to get my free DSLR mirrorless or interchangeable lens video camera cheat sheet that'll have you shooting photos and videos like a pro in no time. Best of all, my cheat sheet specializes in shooting video with your camera, not just photos. You'll find all the information you need on important video techniques such as white balance, color temperature, frame rates, and more whether you use a regular video camera, a DSLR, or a mirrorless camera. Now I am a full-time working video producer, photographer, and technology pro. That's the small business that I own, and it's how I make a living. You'll find my contact info in the description below. Contact me if you need photography or video production for your business. You may be asking, why did I make this video? Well, the answer is simple. I did a job video job just recently and I work with an assistant and he took my equipment and went off shooting and when he came back this is what I got. See that? Look at that. And frankly I find this really super annoying because I would expect a professional to know better and because I don't want this happening with my equipment because it'll break. So now that I've got the vent let me tell you why straight coiling of cables is bad. Before we get into the over-under technique that I want you to use, let's look at why winding the cable around your elbow, like this person did, doesn't work. When you wind the cable in the same direction, coil after coil, known as straight coiling, you're actually causing the cable to twist with every loop that you make. That's why when you unwind it, it instantly wants to twist itself up and it ties itself up into other knots. It also won't lay flat. This isn't just frustrating. Constantly twisting a multi-strand cable, like an XLR or an AC cord, or just about any, almost any cable you can use in the same direction, puts a lot of strain on the outermost cables that are inside. Those outermost cables have to tra travel further than the inner wires do. Over time, this will cause the wires to break prematurely. The solution to this, to avoid tangling your cables or to break them or have them break inside prematurely is to use the over under cable coiling technique. This is also known as over under wrapping, counter coiling or flip coiling. All those terms mean the same thing. The over under technique helps relieve stress on the cables, makes them easy to unwind, makes them last longer and it will make you a hero to every AV pro who sees you doing it. To do the over-under technique, twist the cable in one direction to make the first coil, then untwist it to make the next, and keep repeating this until the cable is neatly coiled. Yes, it takes some practice to perfect, and with a little more time 
to, to wind it up completely, but you make up for it when you use it the next time because it unwinds much faster. Don't worry if you don't understand what I just said because I'm going to move outside in just a minute uh, and show you step by step uh, how to coil a few different types of cables. Also, if you miss something, check out the description below because I'm going to list the steps in the description below as well. Now, let's head outside. I'm going to show you the technique to coil. Before I do that, I mentioned to you that you can break the inside of your cables if you don't coil them properly because they'll wear out over time. Another reason not to do that is they do not lay out flat. And most of the time you want your coils to be flat so that no one trips over them. Let me take this best of cable that I got back from my assistant and show you what happens when I, it's not coiled properly. This was done around the elbow. When I try and throw it out, let me, this is what happens. Notice that it would not go out straight because it's all tangled in knots. So part of it did, a few feet did here, but most of it is still in a tangled mess that I have to fix. So that was an AC cord, an electrical cord. This is an XLR cable, which is basically a mic cord. And it is properly wrapped in the over and under technique. So now watch what happens with this one that I personally pro properly wrapped. Watch how it shoots out nice and flat when I throw it. Now then, let me zoom in and just show you that. Notice how it's relatively flat and it's nice and straight all the way out. 25 foot cable went all the way straight. Now I'll usually tape these down while I'm working but that should give you an idea how important it is to over and under your cable so it won't come out all tangled like that AC cord I just had. Now it's important to remember this technique works on every kind of cable. I have a different one here. This is another AC cord. It's a red one. It's a different one that I coiled. So let me just throw this one out real quick before I show you the technique just to show you how it will fly out nice and flat super easy when it's time to use it. As you can see, it went all the way out. Now it's kind of cold out here today. I'm setting up my Christmas lights, so it's a little bit, you know, it's not perfectly flat, but that's because the cables are super cold but you can see how it goes. So let me zoom in and show you the technique, how to do it very simply. You start with, with whatever end you want to be on the inside. In this case, AC cord, I'm gonna use the female end, normally because you plug it in to an outlet, so I'm gonna to want to have the male end where I can get to it. I'm gonna hold it with my left hand and make a loop over with my right. Then you flip underneath, come like this and flip. This is the under part, because my hand is under this loop. Then the next loop is over. See, my hand is over the cable. Then the next loop, my hand will be under the cable. I'm trying to keep the coils roughly the same size. Then you go over, then under, over, then under, remember my hand, is. The over under is my hand. Each loop over, this loop under, over, under, over, and finally we'll do under. Now the one mistake you don't want to do is with the end here, you don't want to wrap it around like this. Because this, when you wrap it around the cable and connect it to the other end, you'll go ahead and you'll end up breaking the connections right here where they meet, right here. So you don't want to do that. This cable, I have to get some Velcro. It's a new one. I just bought it for my Christmas lights. You have to get a cable tie that, or a string that wraps around and holds it just like this. And they'll hold it uh, permanently when you're storing it and not actually using it. 
Let me try the same technique on the XLR cable I just showed you. So here's an XLR cable, it's a mic cable. So I'll start the same way. I'm going to start coiling with the male end because the female end is the one that I use to plug into a microphone. So your first loop is over, then under my hand, just like that. Again, keep the loops roughly the same size. Then over, then under. Grab the end, over, under again, over, under, my hand over, my hand under the cable, my hand over the cable, under the cable. Let's get to the end here. Over, under, over, and under. It's a little bit cold out here today. It's about 35 degrees right now. So the cables aren't super flat. Again, you use a cable tie, a Velcro, or even a string will work. And hold it closed like this. Personally, I like to keep the end on the outside that I'm always gonna use. So in this case, this is the female end of the XLR. And that's what plugs into a microphone. All microphones, handheld mics, have a male connector at the end. So I, I like to keep the female end of the XLR out. But it's usually the other way around with AC cords because I you know you plug them into the wall you run them to where you want and then the female ends on the inside of the cable because that's what you plug your lamp or whatever into but it's up to you which way it doesn't matter which way you work and again the over under technique works whether you're right-handed or left-handed so it doesn't matter so now that I've coiled this one right in front of you let's toss it out one time just so you can see once again how nice and smooth it shoots out when you're ready to start using it the next time. So if you're ready, let's toss it. And there you go. Professional audio and video technicians have been using this tried and true coiling method for many years. When you have to move fast, a tangled cable can be costly, embarrassing, and frankly, inexcusable. Spend a little time perfecting the over-under method and you can respond to any urgent re cable request quickly. If you need to retrain your cables to properly wrap them because you've been doing it wrong, try setting them out flat in the sun for a few hours, nice and straight, and the heat will take the kinks out. After you've laid it in the sun, you can start coiling over and under. This technique works on any kind of cable you have. If you're using AC cords on the job for your video or film or even at home, whether you're using mic cables, it works on other things that we use every day like the cables you use to charge your phone or Christmas lights or any cables that you have at home. This technique will work on every single kind of cable. It even works on ropes as well. Now if this is all making sense to you, but I've got it in the comment section below. My question of the day is, have you ever spent hours trying to untangle a huge pile of cords? If so, leave a comment below and let us know. Would you like to learn more about your camera settings to get you shooting photos and videos like a pro? I've created an absolutely free cheat sheet for you on all the best camera settings for your DSLR, mirrorless, or video camera that will allow your photos and especially your videos to compete with the pros. The link to get that cheat sheet is just below in the video description. I've also created cheat sheets on other topics such as video editing and even now offer training courses on editing video using Adobe Premiere Pro and soon I'll have other courses as well. I'll link to those cheat sheets and training courses below as well. Do you want to see more videos like this? Follow my YouTube channel Jim Costa Films for more. Think what you saw was great? Like it! Do you have an opinion? then comment below. Do you know someone who could benefit from the info that I provided? Please share the video. Do you want to learn even more? If so, then connect with Jim Costa Films on social media and online on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and the web. I currently have over 4,300 videos on my YouTube channel, Jim Costa Films, so feel free to check out many of my other videos for great tips and suggestions. 
But if you follow me for a while, you may know that I have a community of photographers, videographers, and filmmakers just like you on Facebook where I share pro tips and tricks. It's called Video Producers and Content Creators. I love new members who want to share their work and learn from others. You'll find a link to that group in the description below. So feel free to join it where you'll learn even more.